Hello everyone. Welcome to the section of Alphabridge Technologies. I am Tagur. In this video, we will see about log management function in our switch AS220. First of all, we have to know about what is a log. A log is a file that contains the record of events occurred in the device which are present in the network. That de device may be a switch or a router or a server which are there in our network. And these this logs use a standard protocol called as syslog. This syslog is a standard protocol for message logging the computer system uses to send the event logs to the syslog server. This syslog server is used to store the syslog messages. And the syslog can record any event occur in the network device like system restart, change in interface state and different types of events occur in the devices. All these can be stored in the syslog server. And where these logs are used? These logs are used for troubleshooting and examining any incidents for monitoring, etc. Let us see with an example how this syslog works. In this, we will see a syslog server and a network devices connect to, connected to the server. As I mentioned before, the device may be any device that we present in the network. In this, there is a L3 switch, router, L2 switch and a server. These devices will send the logs to the syslog server and these logs will store in the syslog server. And this communication and this communication is a one-way communication because in this the logs we sent to the server the server did not send any messages or requests to the devices it just within the messages and store those logs in it there is only a one-way traffic in this this log so that's why it is called as a one-way communication so there will be a special format for this syslog message. Let us see that the format. First, there will be a sequence number. This sequence number indicates the order or a sequence of the message. And this sequence number is an optional. It may be or may not be shown in the actual syslog message. After that, timestamp. This time, this timestamp indicates the at what time the message was generated. After the timestamp, there will be a facility. This facility will show which process on the device is generated this message. After the facility, there will be a severity level. This severity will show the, how severe that the message was. Whether the message is an like emergency message or an alarm or a warning. These things will indicate the severity level. And there are total 8 severity levels present in the syslog message. And we will see all those 8 levels in the next slide. After this severity level, there will be a mnemonic. This mnemonic is a shortcut or a short code of the message. to indicates what happened at that event or the log was generated. After this mnemonic, there will be a description. This description gives the detailed information about the event that was reported in the switch or a device. These are the severity levels present in a syslog. It start, the level starts from the 0 and up to 7. And each severity level there is a specific keyword which indicates the type of message. Level 0 is for emergencies. Level 1 is for alerts. And level 2 is for critical conditions level 3 is for error conditions level 4 is for warnings level 5 is for notifications level 6 is for informational messages and last level 7 is the debugging level messages in this level 7 is the least server messages and level 0 is the highest server messages it means it gives high priority to the 0 and it gives your priority to the level 7. And we can select which type of messages we want to get from the devices to the server. If we get all type of messages, messages means it will be difficult to store and it will be complex 
at the time of trouble shooting so we can select the which you want from the device for suppose if you select the g level 0 then we will get only emergency messages from the device and remaining all you won't get from the device or else if you select the level 3 messages as an error conditions we will get the messages from 0 to 3 it means 0 1 2 3 all these error messages we will get stored in the sysog server let us see an example example of the sysog messages format here we can see there a time stamp that we get this message on the october 10 and we can see the facility this facility indicate by which process this message was generated after that we will see that the severity this severity we will say which type of message this was it was the 3 it means it was an error condition after the severity we will see the mnemonic this mnemonic this mnemonic is a shortcut for event which was happen in this the mnemonic was up down it means it was the state of the interface or a switch whether it is up or down in the description we will see the detailed information interface the fast ethernet 0/1 is changed its state to up in this format we will get a syslog message from our device and these messages we store in the syslog server let us see how to configure syslog in our network first of all we have to start the syslog server for syslog server i am using a third party app known as 3c demon in this 3c demon there is a syslog server and we have to configure the syslog server and i is just starting the syslog server when i click on the start i get the ips which are present in my laptop and i am using this ip 192.168.0.10 as my syslog server let us see in the switch i am giving credentials to the switch for login as credentials are admin and admin first i will check whether the server is reachable for my switch or not for that i will ping the server ip from the switch i am getting a 0% loss so the server is reachable to my switch now i will configure for that command is logging and the server ip we have to give the server ip here after that we have to create a buffer to store this logs and we and i am giving the size of the buffer for that command say logging buffer and you have to mention the size of the buffer i am giving the buffer size as 409600 after this i have to configure which type of messages that i need to send from my switch for that we can see we have to select the severity level in the switch we can see all types of keywords are present here so we will select i am selecting the debugging because it is a least severity level and if i select the debugging means it will i will get the all types of messages from the switch so i am selecting as debugging now i am creating the logs in my switch for that i will make any port as an up or down so that it will generate an log and if those log will send to the syslog server in this i have make a port 7 as an up we can see that the log was to get an log in the syslog server and i am changing it to the down and we get the log whether that the port was down in this way we will get the logs from our switch and we can see those logs in the syslog server if you are not getting any logs after the configuration also then check the severity levels that you have given and the connectivity and the configuration that we have done thank you for watching